Singapore is a city-state with a variety of tourist hotspots and activities, and you may find yourself wanting to see it all. You can have fun at Universal Studios Singapore, Gardens by the Bay, Night Safari Park, or Marina Bay Sands Sky Park. In this city, there's always something fun to do. Modern architecture, ethnic diversity, great food, and top attractions make Lion City a great vacation place. To find out why this place should be at the top of your bucket list, keep watching our video until the very end. So, let's check out our list of the top 10 things to do in Singapore. Number 10. Enjoy a day out on Sentosa Island. The name for Sentosa Island is Asia's favourite playground. The island resort is only 15 minutes from the heart of the city and is filled with fun activities. The island was a fortress in the 19th century and a military post after World War II. In modern times, Fort Siloso serves as a museum for military artefacts like cannons and uniforms. Today, several locals compare Sentosa Island to Las Vegas in a forest by the sea. With Sentosa's enjoyable activities like woodland trips and beach towns, this is an excellent site. This island is a massive amusement park with endless things to do. Even getting to Sentosa by cable car from the mainland is an exciting experience. Sentosa Island has a lot of things to see and do. Beautiful beaches and lush forests that are fun for people of all ages. The word boring will no longer exist after your visit to Sentosa Island. Number 9. Visit Jewel at Chungi Airport. When you arrive in Lion City, you will be greeted by Jewel at Chungi Airport. The Chungi Airport Group and Capitaland created this mixed-use wonder. An impressive landmark has been created for airport visitors to shop, dine and relax in. The Jewel attracts tourists with its gardens, hotels, shopping, restaurants and airport services. Chungi Airport's Jewel showcases the best of Singapore Island. You must visit Singapore if it will be your first trip there. Don't forget to schedule some time to see Jewel before or after your flight out of Singapore. You could easily spend a whole day here and still not see everything. Besides its many locally owned shops and restaurants with Michelin stars, the area also features brands from throughout the world. Young and old alike will have a fantastic time exploring Jewel's many thrilling features. Number 8. Check out Merlion Park. One of Singapore's most recognisable icons, the Merlion, can be found in Merlion Park. The Merlion, a monument that looks like a hybrid of a lion and a fish, stands guard over the Singapore River and is a major tourist attraction. It's completely free to come here. A fish serves as the Merlion's body, a reference to Singapore's humble beginnings as a fishing hamlet. The lion's head is a representation of the country's ancient name, Singapura, which translates to Lion City in Malay. This location is highly popular among photographers. You've probably seen the photo where people are saying ah, and the fountain appears to have water flowing out of its mouth. These types of photos are taken at Merlion Park. The gardens by the bay put on a light show every night, and park guests can have a fantastic view of it from the park. Number 7. Check out the Night Safari. Nocturnal Animal Safari Park is the first of its kind and has quickly become an international phenomenon. The same organisation that manages the similarly well-liked Singapore Zoo also operates this attraction. More than a thousand species that live and thrive only at night can be seen here by tourists. More than a third of the 130 species housed on the reserve's 86 acres are critically endangered. Free guided tram rides take visitors all across the park. The tour itself lasts for around 40 minutes and visits seven different geographical zones although visitors should not count on seeing any particular animals. The tigers will be fed in real time on the weekends if you book in advance. Try out a trail walk if you're in a position to do so. You'll be able to escape the crowds of tourists and increase your chances of meeting shy animals. Artificial lighting fashioned to seem like moonlight sheds light on the animals. Number 6. Explore Singapore's Historic Neighbourhoods the early history of Singapore's island nations can be seen in interesting detail in the city historic state districts. Start your trip in the charming little India district, where colourful saris and fragrant spices fill every shop. Chinatown has a lot of busy restaurants and bars, but there are also quiet temples hidden among all the noise. In contrast, 
The colonial district has a number of impressive buildings that were built when the British were in charge. Katong, a town on the eastern shore of Singapore, was once home to the city's wealthy elite in the late 19th and early 20th centuries. Some of the most beautiful shop houses in the city are now in Katong, and the residential area of Tiong Bahru, which was built in the 1920s, has been turned into a hipster utopia with boutique shops and coffee shops. Outside of this one, there are many other fascinating places to visit. Number 5. Eat at Singapore's Hawker Centres Are you experiencing any feelings of hunger when you are travelling? Then you should visit the Southeast Asian food town. Though Singapore is home to several high-quality restaurants and hotels, the Hawker Centres are where the locals go for affordable, delicious food. Because Hawker Centres are such an important part of daily life in Singapore, UNESCO has put Hawker culture on its 2020 representative list of the intangible cultural heritage of humanity. Singapore's culture can be best understood through its cuisine, which includes the likes of peppery laksa, flaky murtabak, which is known as a stuffed savoury pancake, nutty satay, and barbecue stingray at any of the island nation's hundred or more Hawker Centres. Hawker cuisine is not only a great way to save money, but it's also a fun way to eat in Singapore. Take money with you, possibly in the form of small bills. Number 4. Take thrilling rides at Universal Studios Singapore If you're looking for new adventures in Singapore, go to Universal Studios. Visit Asia's best theme park in Singapore. The site has many rides, events and other attractions for all ages. This amusement park features seven themed zones with activities. Ancient Egypt, New York, Madagascar, Hollywood, Far Far Away, Sci-Fi City and The Lost World. The park also has 28 rides and several other shows. Each zone is based on a particular movie or TV show and has its own attractions including over 30 restaurants, shops and more. Experience the magic of The Lost World, see Egypt's pyramids and Pharaoh's tomb or take photos on Hollywood Boulevard with its Walk of Fame. Battlestar Galactica is the world's highest fighting roller coaster. Shout your lungs out as you experience thrilling close calls, sudden drops, and fast spins. The park is open from noon to 7 pm, Thursday through Sunday. Number 3. Enjoy the view for Marina Bay Sands Sky Park. The magnificent and wacky Marina Bay Sands can be seen everywhere in Singapore's urban core. A huge ship appears to be stuck between three skyscrapers. The 57th floor rooftop of the Marina Bay Sands Hotel is home to the popular Sky Park Observation Deck. Guests can eat, drink and take in breathtaking views of Marina Bay and the Singapore skyline. Yoga courses at sunrise and sunset are also available at Sky Park. Although the public can enjoy these facilities, only hotel guests can swim in the infinity pool. It's a hotel but it also serves many other purposes. There are concerts every night in theatres, restaurants, cafes, boutiques and museums, and Sky Park has the highest rooftop infinity pool in the world. Gondola rides are available inside the mall because it's so big. Isn't it insane? Number 2. Stroll the Gardens by the Bay The 101 hectare gardens by the bay in central Singapore is a modern green park. If you visit Singapore, you really must see Gardens by the Bay a truly remarkable architectural achievement. A city centre urban garden design competition inspired this creative tourist paradise. The goal of this project was to permanently establish Singapore as a city in a garden. Bay South Garden, Bay East Garden and Bay Central Garden are the park's main areas. The garden's innovative design blends nature and technology to create a stunning future landscape. Look around in wonder at the various domes and garden features. Free skywalk access lets you see the gardens from above. Over 20 million people have visited Gardens by the Bay since its 2012 debut. Gardens by the Bay is a place where you can lose track of time and stay until closure. Number 1. Design your own signature Singapore perfume. Would you like to make your own signature fragrance? At Centopia, we can help you make it happen. There is nowhere else in Asia like this Sentosa attraction. Visitors can also learn about Singaporean tradition and history through smell. Sentopia is a new attraction on Sentosa that shows off Singapore's unique floral tradition by focusing on orchids. Using bottled orchid oils, visitors can create their own customised scent. 
Researchers at Centopia have been looking into products with vegan and halal parts for eight years to find ways to better represent Singaporean culture. Thus, Centopia now offers over 6,000 oils for custom perfumes. You can purchase orchid-infused perfumes, essential oils and bath salts at the retail shop if you don't have any time to make your own. Organisational bookings, corporate team building, school trips and other events are welcome at Centopia. Centopia is perfect for travellers who desire a unique Singapore experience. So that's all for today. Which one do you like the most? Let us know in the comments section and we'll see you soon. Until then, stay safe and keep travelling.